Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports. We're here at uh, Southeast Fieldhouse where uh, East uh, Bears just played uh, Southeast and it was a hard loss and we have the head coach of the Bears here. Who do we have here? Winston Frazier. Hey coach, tell our audience a little bit about yourself, how long you've been coaching and where have you coached in the past? Uh, well, I'm, I've really been in youth development. I've worked with the Boys and Girls Club for 16 years. Um, I got the head coach at East um, two years ago because I did some work with the Boys and Girls Club in the neighborhood for five years and I got a good relationship with a lot of the guys. And I coached them over the summer for about three years before I took the job. So a lot of the guys I ever have, especially the sophomores, I've been knowing since they was in eighth grade. What was this game like for you uh, tonight? Talk uh, about from the first first quarter on to uh, the end of the game. It was winnable. Um, my team, we, we, we don't got all our weapons yet, but I know we're coming, and I'm going to try to preach that to our team. Um, we're missing about five guys, but we've been fighting in the IL. We, don't, we haven't got blown out like last year, but when we get our guys back, we're going to put pressure on them. You're you building your program? No, we're coming. Uh, with Cascade Sports being home and a student athlete, how important is the educational component to your program? It's the most important thing. They can't touch the court. They can't go to college without their education. If, before you're athlete, you're a student athlete, and you got to remember that at all times. Who you got coming up next? Um, we have Crystal Ray at Crystal Ray on Tuesday. On Tuesday? Yes, sir. On uh, How would you say the style of play that your, your, your team is playing? Right now, um, shorthanded, but we're just playing tough. Um, I'm trying to teach a culture of just um, being adamant about defense and not giving up. And today they showed they didn't give up. Um, but we got some stuff to improve on, but we're going to be all right. Uh, you got a young team, an uh, old team. Talk, talk to our audience a little bit about your team. Um, once, we're low, once we're fully loaded, it's, it's majority juniors and sophomores. So for the next two years, we're going to be all right. So I'm just, right. we're going to be all right, man. Uh, how you feel about your big men's performance tonight? Oh, you know what I mean? Dave is always awesome. I can't really complain about him. He's averaging a double-double on the season. So he does his job. He does his job well. Who would you uh, tell our audience to look out for uh, this season and uh, an up-and-coming pro prospect? At Cascade Sports, we call ourselves uh, the wave of the future, and we'll be having wave of the future athletes that we will uh, be putting the spotlight on. Well, I don't want to holler. I want to show favors, but Jesse Minter, Anybody knows in the city, they know he can ball. Um, he's just on the team that's just trying to figure it out. But once we get it everything together and he can play his role, he's going to be coming scoring as much as he can. Uh, hey, Coach, appreciate you uh, taking the time to do this interview. I know your team's down in the locker room, and we plan to cover another one of your games. All right, thank you. The program is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association.